Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a vlog style video. I have so many projects going on right now, so many things that I'm trying to do at one time that I kind of thought it was appropriate just to take you guys along with me and show you all of the crazy things I'm doing right now. So um, I have a little bit of a cold, which is, I, maybe you don't notice. My, my dad said today that he didn't notice that I sounded off, but I feel like I sound like my voice is like three octaves deeper than it normally is and I think I sound congested, but I can't seem to kick this. Uh, it's been like eight days and I am juicing celery in the morning now. I kind of got away from that for a little while, so I have been juicing my celery in the morning and that seems to kind of help me get through the morning. The morning is the worst. As soon as I drink the celery juice, it's like, it clears up for a while. So I think it's just a cold. Miles had it, my son, and now I have it. I'm just kind of trying to get through it. We had a busy morning, but uh, Miles is napping now. I'm gonna try to get a few things done around here and then we might go to Home Goods later because I'm looking for a basket to turn into a light fixture. My friend Shelly, um, she's actually at Oasis Home Spaces on Instagram and if you like home decor, um, home renovations, just anything like that. And so I'm gonna link her below in the description box because she is such a great resource and she gave me the idea for this. I've been looking on like Wayfair, Overstock, Amazon for a particular light fixture and the ones that I've liked are like two, three hundred dollars and some of them don't even come with the light kit, which is crazy. So she made one recently, she turned it into, um, it was a basket that she turned into a light fixture and I was like, I can do that. So that is on my list today. I have these old uh, restoration hardware stools that I actually bought from her. I'm gonna show you what those look like. Okay, so these are the stools I was talking about. They're counter stools. And you can see I already removed some parts on this one and I already cut out some of the caning, but my plan is because the caning was damaged and um, <laughs> they're beyond repair. So my plan is to actually recane these, but as lovely as they are, as they are, <laughs> I am gonna paint them. Um, and some people will think I'm crazy. I think I would say that I was crazy if I didn't know my vision. So I'm planning to paint them black. And then I'll have some a light colored caning here. Um, if I have an inspiration picture, um, I'll, I'll put it right here on the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. And that's kind of like the, the vibe, the motif I'm going for. So as they are, they're just a little farmhousey for me and the wood tone is a little too gray compared to the flooring in there. And so for me, I don't know. I just have this vision of painting them black and having them freshly caned. So I've never caned anything before. I've watched a tutorial on it, but I'm gonna try my hand at it. And I'm being a little impatient because really I need to paint the entire stool and then cane it, but I kind of wanna cane it first. So I'm not really doing this correctly. I'm going to paint like around the perimeter and then I'm going to cane it. Uh, so after I kind of work on that a little bit today, I'm gonna get Miles up from his nap and then we'll go to Home Goods and we'll look for a basket for our, hopefully our future light fixture. So I've still got some caning in here that I need to remove before I can do anything else. Well, I had to take the chair apart. Um, because part of the holes that I'm going to need was covered by a chair leg, but I was able to paint it, which is good. And I'll just uh, work on this probably a little bit more tomorrow. I just didn't expect to have to take so much of the chair apart. <laughs> 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 Can I see this one? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, could any of these baskets be a light? I think this would be kind of cute, but it's really big. They have all their outdoor stuff out right now. Like this one, $17 is huge. Like they, it's just such good prices on planners. There's a ton out right now. The caning is back in. I wish there was two of these. That's really cute. 
So I just got home. I'm just cutting up a little grilled cheese for Miles so he can have some dinner and then I'll show you guys what I got at Home Goods. Okay, so I told you guys I wanted to try to make a light from a basket. So I found these two. I also found a cake pan because I want to try to make Miles a um, birthday cake. <laughs> so I found a six inch cake pan. I'm thinking like three layers um, or maybe two and I have no idea what I'm doing. So wish me luck on that. Um, but this one I think might be nice. I don't like how open it is, but I do like the size of it. And then this one, I would have to remove the handles, but I don't know. I'm probably going to have to get my husband to like hold them up for me, like close to the ceiling and then kind of decide like if I like the look of it. I really like this one, but I'm not really sure about removing the handles. So I can always take them back if it doesn't work out, but... They didn't have a huge, like they had a ton of baskets. They just didn't have like a lot of like rounded baskets, which is what I was looking for. I didn't want anything that was like squared on the bottom. Um, so I might have to check another Home Goods. I might just in case, maybe tomorrow, and just see what they have and then kind of go from there. I have no clue what time my husband's gonna be home tonight for dinner, but I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, he's calling me. Hello? Hi, what are you doing? Okay, so he is on the way home, but I, um, I'm gonna make egg roll in a bowl. It's, I've made it a million times. It's such an easy thing to make. It's very like keto friendly, whole 30 friendly. Um, you can make it vegan. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I'll put the link below in the description box if it's something that you've never heard of and you wanna try it. Very easy to make. And I make mine with a very low fat pork. Um, I didn't eat meat for the longest time, like seven years I didn't eat meat, and now I eat it pretty frequently. Um, I just think it's important to have a clean source of protein in your diet. When I was vegan and not eating meat, I was not eating very healthy. So now I try to focus on like whole foods and vegetables, and I do make sure that we have a good amount of protein in our diet. Just think it's the healthy thing to do. So I always double my recipes and sometimes triple them because we will eat off of them all week. Like my husband will take some to work for lunch tomorrow. We might have it, you know, maybe for dinner tomorrow. We just try to kind of cut corners where we can so we're not cooking a meal every time we need to eat a meal. We don't eat it out a lot. So that's a good tip for you guys at home. If you find yourself overwhelmed with having to cook every night and this recipe tells you to put it in a bag and pipe it. It makes it look really pretty when you do. Okay, I had a little bit of a fail with my sauce <laughs> because I made it way too thick. I made the hole um, too big, so when I piped it out, it just like went everywhere. But yeah, here we have egg roll in a bowl, delicious. My husband's still not home from work, so I think I'm just going to eat dinner by myself, which I don't love doing, but because I haven't been feeling well, I think I'm just gonna like call it an early night probably watch some bachelor which he's going to be jealous of because he's a big fan um and see you guys tomorrow and hold it above the table that actually looks kind of cool you have to imagine it without the handles yeah and being kind of high so i think i would put it like there okay will you hold the other one i think that's too small but i just kind of wanted to see i think it looks kind of like a cage or yeah it's like more like a pendant <laughs>
I looked down this morning after I ate breakfast and I realized this, my son's like little toy basket in the kitchen, it could be the perfect light for over my dining room table. And it's been sitting here the whole time because I don't think these are gonna work. They're just, this one, like this one's too small. And then this one is, um, I, I don't know. I think it's, I think I, I want something a little wider. Sometimes it helps for me, like even if I wasn't vlogging, I would probably record this so I could go back and look and just to see what something looks like. But if I'm having a hard time visualizing, if I need somebody to hold something up, see, I think that might be the perfect light. It's been sitting here this whole time. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up here to recane this seat. And I just used like some little pieces of wood that I had to kind of prop it up since I had to take the whole seat off. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> All right, I've got my YouTube tutorial I'm gonna use, <laughs> like many of you guys do. Um, if you guys are interested in recaning a seat, I'm not going to go through step-by-step step, not making a tutorial about it uh, because this one is really good, so I'll just link this below. This is about as far as I got in about a 30 minute span, so I think this is gonna take me a while. <gasps> Excuse me. Can I help you? I honestly feel like I spend so much time in the kitchen as a stay-at-home mom. I don't like I don't even understand how I spend so much time in here because I don't feel like we have that much food ready all the time, but I do. I spend most of the day in here. And I'm always doing a project too. So like I have the caning going right now and I have some reed soaking. So I have like 10 minutes to do something. So I'm gonna prepare some apples. I just, I pretty much make like applesauce for Miles. I just peel my apples and put them in the Instant Pot for like two minutes. And I just keep them in the fridge so that, you know, when he needs a snack or when he's having lunch, whatever, I can just pull them out. I try to keep as much food ready for him as I can because it seems like if we run an errand, like as soon as we get back, I have to make lunch for him or dinner for him. There's not a lot of time in between like naps and meals <laughs> to get anything done. So it's really smart to, for me just to have food ready for him as often as possible. market order I know I was talking about this when I was making dinner last night it just got here so I thought I would um, open it up with you guys I feel like you hear so much about Thrive Market like all of the podcasts I listen to are sponsored by Thrive Market and I was like not it's just like HelloFresh or one of those things where I'm just like very resistant to want to participate in it because I know that it's sponsored but I don't know, I just kind of gave in. <laughs> Once I looked at the app, there was a lot of products that I feel like I have to like run around town for, like things I only go to Whole Foods for or things I have to like order from Amazon. So I'm excited about receiving some of that. So I got some Smart Sweets. If you haven't had these, they're like super high fiber, low sugar, and they have a, um, it says they have a prebiotic soluble, prebiotic soluble fiber. Um, and if you don't know, prebiotics are basically like the food that your probiotics eat. So that's like, I mean, it's candy. They're really good. I've never had these flavors. I got the peach rings and the sweet fish, so I'm excited to try those. I think what I've had from the Smart Sweets is the gummy bears, so I just haven't had those. And then my sister-in-law told me about this amazing chocolate that I got from a health food store in Richmond last time I was there, and it's amazing. When I saw it on Thrive Market, I had to order it. It's called H-U, Hue maybe, getting back to human. Um, one of these is cashew butter and pure vanilla bean dark chocolate. And then the other one is cashew butter and raspberry, raspberry jelly dark chocolate. Oh my God, I'm stoked to eat those. I swear I didn't just order candy. What is this? Oh, this wrapping is really interesting. It's like textured paper. It's like fishnet paper. Oh, my ghee. I've never cooked with ghee, um, but we use a lot of butter and I'm thinking that 
maybe ghee would be a little bit healthier than using um, the butter with all the milk solids. So fourth and heart ghee. They had a garlic ghee that I was like, oh, that sounds so good. But I got regular ghee. <clears throat> oh, some stashers. They were pretty cheap. Like this stasher is huge. And I think it was like 15 bucks. Oh, really? Here, you want these? And this one, oh, I'm excited about this one because it's a stand-up one. So I've been using these instead of plastic bags um, and storage containers in the fridge. My husband takes things for lunch in them. I like this one because it like stands up. It's pretty cool. You can like cook in them, put them in the microwave, put them in boiling water. There's like so many things you can do with them. Freeze them, they're amazing. So I'm just like slowly collecting them because they're not cheap. This was free. I'm gonna recycle all this plastic, guys. Um, organic almond butter. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. It's a huge pouch of almond butter. So that will be good. The brand is, it's actually made by Thrive Market. So they have like their own like house brand of things. <laughs> olive oil. I feel like the olive oil I find in the, um, grocery store is like either really really expensive or it's like crap so this is organic cold pressed product of Greece extra virgin olive oil I really love this packaging too it's like cute so I won't mind that out on my counter and this is ah oh, the coconut aminos I wanted to use this last night which is fine like the recipe I made last night has three tablespoons of soy sauce not the, the worst thing but um let's see this has only 160 milligrams of sodium compared to regular soy sauce. And that's for, let's see, that is for a teaspoon. Ooh, I don't know, because this is one tablespoon, it's 960 milligrams. So I'm not sure off the top of my head how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon, but I think it's still less sodium for the coconut aminos. Yeah. Either way, I think it's supposed to be a healthier choice then um, soy sauce. Okay, and then I got two body products. So I got hand sanitizer from Dr. Bronner's. It's peppermint. Let's try it. I wanted to keep this in my diaper bag. Ooh, that's nice. It's definitely strong. I might, they, I think they have a lavender one. I think I might get a lavender one because I think this is like pretty strong to have for the baby, but I like it for myself. I just don't know if he needs that much peppermint. And then this is a Dr. Bronner, Bronner's Unscented Organic Magic Balm instead of lotion. I thought this would be bigger than it is, but that's fine because it wasn't expensive. It's unscented. But Miles is crawling and he has like, his knees are just always like calloused up now from crawling. That's nice because it's not greasy. Um, and I was putting a CeraVe on it, it just wasn't really working. So I wanted to try this. And apparently you can put it on your face too. So yeah, that's what I got from Thrive Market. It is $60 a year, so I'm not 100% sure it's worth it, like worth the membership. I think I need to like see what else I would be buying and like buying on a regular basis to kind of decide for myself. But I definitely think the products are nice, like what I've picked. taken me most of the day to get this far and I didn't realize that you're supposed to keep it wet as you work so I was like you know obviously I have my son and like I would work on it was like while he was napping and I was like walking away from it coming back I don't know I might have like totally screwed this up and I might have to redo it all over again but I'm gonna my husband's gonna go ahead and like make dinner for us and I'm just going to try to do what I can tonight and hope that it works out. If anything, it's a learning lesson. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna work on this tonight and just see what I can get done. I'll show you guys tomorrow morning what my progress was, I guess. Uh, it's definitely a lot more work than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, I knew it was gonna be a lot of work to do this, but it is my first time as well, so I need to like, go a little easier on myself, but it's definitely a lot of work. So last night when I went to sleep, I was like freaking out because you're not supposed to let this like dry out. <laughs> but I watched a video that said you could 
basically put a damp rag, a rag over it the next day and kind of moisten it and then rework this. But you can see I got part of the diagonal part done last night. This project is just way, way bigger than I ever thought it would be. I knew it was gonna be hard, but I didn't think it was gonna take me like days. Everything takes me longer now that I have miles. So, so I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna juice some celery today, hopefully finish this chair, and maybe just take it easy, because yesterday stressed me out trying to get that chair done. I think, um, You'll have to just watch the next vlog to see how they turn out. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will definitely post on Instagram. I always post all of my projects in real time as I'm doing them on Instagram. I'm at Bell and Cotton on Instagram and I'll have that linked below. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Say bye. <laughs>